Welcome back to Snipe City Cards, everyone. Finally, an update. 21-22 Upper Deck Series 1 should be out in about a week. So we got some good rookies. We got Caulfield. We got Drysdale. We've got Wade Allison. Who else is on here? Garrett Pylon. Uh, Rustalainen. Spencer Knight. There we go. Jeremy Swayman. Kalen Addison. Uh, Trevor Zegras. That's going to be another big one. Uh, Jeremy Davies. Rasmus Kapari, so some pretty decent names. Cole Lynn, Shane Pinto. So we're going to open another box of last year's Series 1. Let's get to it. All right, so here we go. It's been a long time since we've opened a hobby box of Series 1 uh, from 2021. And uh, hopefully the next hobby box we'll be opening in a, about a week or so will be 2022 Series 1. But let's get to this. I don't even know if we're still looking for a Lafreniere Youngins at this point. He's uh, not played well in the last couple of years. Uh, but here we go. Our first pack is a Alex Belzeal Youngins. Okay, second pack up. We have a NHL Worldwide, Matt Zuccarello. Okay, pack number three is a French variant of Mark Stahl. Okay, next is, that looks like a clear cut there. All oh, these cards are already getting stuck together, but we got a clear cut of Matt Duchesne. Clear cut base. All right, we have Steve Larmer, Day with the Cup. Anytime you get a Day with the Cup card, that's always pretty good. So fairly decent there. Day with the Cup flashback. Steve Larmer from the on the New York Rangers. There we go. So we'll keep him there in view. Okay, next we have a Dazzlers of Andre Vasilevsky. Dazzlers. Uh, we've got another worldwide here. And it's Nikita Kucherov, Worldwide. So we'll be looking for Zegris and Caulfield when, uh, next week when the rest of them comes down. But uh, some other decent names. We got another Young Guns here. It's Dylan Coughlin. All right. We have a predominant Matthew Kachuk. Okay, we got another Young Guns here. And we got Vitaly Kraftstov. I know at one point he asked for a trade out of New York. A little disgruntled there, but uh, pretty decent player, Kraftstov. So we're three Young Guns in. We got a day with the cup. Everything else pretty uh, pedestrian. We've got another Vasilevsky. This one's a Portraits. Looks like another Portraits here. We got Kale McCarr. Okay, another portrait, Brock Nelson. There's some weird lighting on his face in that picture. He does not look happy. It's already getting a lot of stickage with these cars. Another portrait. All right, we got portraits, rookie Liam Foodie. And uh, we got a predominant, Sidney Crosby. So just a clear cut and a day with the cup. Got another Young Guns here. Trying to get a decent name, and we've got Connor Ingram. So not so much. I think that was our fourth Young Guns. We've got a rookie retrospective Jack Hughes. Okay. We already know what this is. It's the Young Guns checklist, Lafreniere and Kraftstoff. Hoping for one more big name here. We've got a UD Canvas. That's our first one here, Jonathan Quick. We're going to do a series on Canvas cards because the pictures on these cards are just 10 out of 10 every single time. Had some good ones sitting, but uh, ended up getting rid of them. Maybe someday we'll do it. We'll grab some Canvas cards, but uh, probably the f my favorite cards... Okay, we got another canvas here. 
and some stuff stuck together. But our canvas is Rasmus Dallin in his practice jersey with no shoulder pads. Or it doesn't look like it, at least. So not a great box thus far. This is another Young Guns here. This would be our last one. And it's Philip Kurashev. So striking out pretty bad on the Young Guns. Got a couple of decent names, but uh, no one special out of this box here. All right. Uh, this is another canvas. UD canvas, Nathan McKinnon. Two packs left. Not a great box. Uh, we got another canvas card here, Mika Zabanajad. So we had all our canvas cards are kind of next to each other. All our portraits are next to each other. I mean, we were grabbing them different from the stacks, but this is our last pack. I'm not even sure what that card is. It's a Nick Suzuki debut dates. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope the anticipation for series one of 2022 is a little better because we got a bunch of low name young guns. We got a clear cut, a day with the cup, which is probably the best card. Um, not a great box. And anyways, thanks for watching.